So we grow up hearing that we need three servings of dairy per day to have good, strong, healthy bones. That's the official US government guidelines. Three serves of dairy every day and you'll get all the calcium your body needs. But where does that number really come from? And is it possible that the US government's dietary guidelines are corrupt? Well, as it turns out, milk is one of the last things we need. This really frustrates me because coming from the world of marketing and advertising, I used to work for the milk industry and I know how much money they pay to lobby the government. So if you ever suspected that the government's corrupt, I can verify that. Here's something to remember for any food that you eat for their vitamins or minerals. Eating a food rich in a nutrient doesn't matter unless that nutrient is actually absorbed by your body. I could drink liquid iron all day long, but if it doesn't get absorbed into my body, then it won't do anything anything for my health except cause a lot of permanent damage to my mouth or more likely kill me very quickly. The point is that milk is very rich in calcium but that doesn't mean that it helps strengthen our bones. In fact, milk may actually lower our bone mineral density which may explain why there's more hip fractures in the elderly living in the western world where milk consumption is high compared to eastern asian cultures that don't drink much milk. So much from milk helping bones get strong. Now there's even the hypothesis that milk draws calcium out of your bones. What the hell, milk? I trusted you with my calcium. Here's what they think is going on. Milk is acidic. It's about 6.5 on the pH scale. Acid freaks the body out and it scrambles to neutralize the acid so that it doesn't get all the way to the kidneys. And to do that, it ends up sacrificing calcium from our bones. Now your body does need calcium, but we don't have to get our calcium from dairy. We can get our calcium needs from leafy greens, tofu, broccoli, snap peas, almonds, canned fish with bones, leeks, green onions, endive, fennel, cabbage, butternut squash, artichokes, Brussels sprouts, sweet potato, parsnips, lima beans, carrots, and turnips. So why do the US dietary guidelines emphasize dairy? Well, the answer is money. The US government is heavily influenced by the dairy industry. And as I said, I used to work for the dairy industry, my previous PR agency back in 2014. Remember that Got Milk campaign? Yeah, I helped promote that. That was back before I started PsyQ and I'm doing PsyQ as kind of a penance for all the bad things that I've done as PR agent. Anyway, the dairy industry know damn well that you don't really need all that milk, but all that lobbying got the US government to endorse milk in their official guidelines. Years later, we all just kind of accept that milk is essential, even though it's not. So let's be clear here that US dietary guidelines, which give meat and dairy a big chunk of the food plate, are not the unbiased recommendation of scientists. They are literally a pyramid scheme where you get to buy more eggs, milk, cheese and yogurt. Now, if you want to find out more about big dairy and the effects that they have on government, check out the links below in the description. But what do you guys think? I know the dairy industry is just one of many sources of government lobbying. Is there a particular industry sector or group that you think is lobbying the government that you'd like us to explore? Let us know in the comments below. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.